17 degrees right now at the airport, 25 downtown. Today's the day that we're going to finally climb above freezing. We've been in the deep freeze since Tuesday evening. In fact, we're now up to 61 hours with temperatures below freezing. It was 11 p.m. Tuesday. We first dropped below freezing and I think we have at least a couple more hours to go for most of us, but it's not nearly as cold today as it was yesterday. Yesterday morning we had the coldest wind chill of this whole cold snap in Denver. It felt like minus 27 outside early yesterday hasn't been nearly that bad today, but it has been a cold winter. Uh, a few people have asked us about what, what temperatures have been like since winter started back in November, and it of course has been very cold November was about four degrees colder than normal. December about two degrees colder than normal. Last month we had the 17th coldest January we've ever had almost seven degrees colder than usual. And this month the average temperature highs and lows together has been 30. And so that's about two degrees colder than usual. So it'll be our fourth consecutive month here that will wrap up early next week with likely below normal temperatures again. So right now again, teens here along the front range, higher terrain, it's warmer. Uh, Bailey 36, obvious that we have an inversion in place. That's why the infamous brown cloud is, vi is visible over Denver. Still a little bit of a wind chill out there as well. Feels like nine at DIA 10 in Greeley, but the wind chill advisory we had earlier in Northeast Colorado has been allowed to expire. So again, we're going to climb above freezing here eventually this afternoon. Afternoon. We've got to scour out some of this cold air that's trapped near the ground. We're going to do that more so tomorrow. We're going to mix down the warmer air that's just above us. That's why Bailey's warmer. We're going to get that warmer weather coming in to Denver tomorrow. High temperatures in the 50s here for your weekend. We'll be in the 60s in southeast Colorado. Look at this on Sunday. Springfield almost 70 down there near the Oklahoma line. Meanwhile, we're going to be in the 50s again around Denver all along uh, the front range here on Sunday. Mountain areas, 30s, a few 20s for the high country as well. Speaking of the high country, not nearly as much snow left up there now as we had earlier today. And what we have left of the snow in the mountains is going to gradually end as we get into the evening. Tonight should be dry pretty much statewide. Tomorrow we may still get a few light snow showers around Winter Park, Steamboat, maybe down into Summit County over toward Vail and Beaver Creek as well, but it's just not going to be much if anything in terms of accumulation. Uh, we do still have a winter storm warning down here in the San Juans. Boy, has it been a snowy week down here. Wolf Creek Pass has measured snow in feet. They're going to get another inch or two before all is said and done. There's also an avalanche warning through the rest of today down there in the San Juan Mountains. All right, let's bring it back to Denver in the front range now. About 38 this afternoon with the hazy sunshine. Again, making it look pretty cloudy outside. Tomorrow, much warmer, high 55 and then 56 on Sunday. Early next week, McKenzie, pretty nice finish to February. 52 Monday, 53 on Tuesday. And then we start March on Wednesday, and that's when we'll bring in the chance for some snow again by Wednesday night into Thursday. It also turns cooler. There's that old saying, March comes in like a lion, out like a lamb, meaning it roars in, and then, you know, it's easier and warmer and drier by the end of the month. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's going to roar like a lion as it comes in, but okay. it's interesting that as soon as we hit March next week, it does turn cooler. It does. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, good. after this winter, you never know, right? We'll see. Maybe March will be another colder than normal month. Yep. It's usually our snowiest month of the year. It so is. Get ready.